TGI Friday, everybody. I'm Jason Laird from the Storm Tracker Weather Center here on this Friday afternoon with a quick weather update. Finally starting to see a little break in the action here. A few less flurries flying across the area, but still going to see a few sporadic flurries here and there. But really the uh, the heaviest impacts of this system finally starting to move out of the area. We do still have a couple advisories to point out to you. We'll go ahead and show you that now up into the northeastern corner of the state. We do have that winter weather advisory until 9 a.m. Uh, this Sunday. Day. Could see a little accumulation up there, which again, um, not a bad thing because we've had that drought just hanging on for dear life in the northeastern corner of the state. So any moisture up there would be much appreciated uh, right now, possibly up to two to four inches. And that's going to be not necessarily tonight. Uh, this system is going to be moving through Saturday evening into Sunday. We'll break that down shortly, uh, likely more of a rain snow mix out of this system. But that's going to be the area that sees the heaviest impacts. Also, we do have the concern of flooding across the area. Only uh, watch we have. What the heck is this one? Uh, there we go. <laughs> that one is a full blown flood warning for Phillips County. Uh, again, this is going to be due to increased snow melt, slight ice jam in this area, and that is along Beaver Creek. Uh, looks like. Yeah, right along Beaver Creek there. So again, some minor flooding in this area. Just use a little extra caution there. We'll, we're keeping a very, very close eye on the flood potential here over the next few days because temperatures are going to start warming up and the moisture that moves through this weekend is gonna be more of a rain snow mix. So we could see periods of heavy rain, sleet, a little snow, possibly some freezing rain out of the system. That is going to kick up the snow melt even more. And like I said, temperatures are expected to increase this next week. So the flood concern kind of returns to the area. I know it's not a lot of fun when we have these, these cold snaps, but that's actually doing us some favors when it comes to the flooding. Because again, it, uh, you know, yes, we get some melt, but then it kind of refreezes a little bit, slows things down, some melt refreezes. So not all bad when it comes to the overall snow. Okay, so as for the future cast tonight, relatively calm. Flurries continue to move out of the area, likely going to see some patchy fog tonight. We've got a lot of evaporation. You've probably seen the steam coming off the roads today due to that high sun angle and really melting things quickly. So fog is uh, likely tonight throughout uh, a few of the areas. It's kind of hard to say where exactly because we've had melt all across the area, but likely up and down I-15, Cut Bank, Great Falls, could see some patchy fog in Helena and Haver as well. Um, we'll continue to monitor that this evening and let you know uh, if anything pops up. Saturday will start out pretty mild, so tomorrow morning, just some few, a few clouds out there, relatively mild. I've got temperatures, you know, in the mid-30s, 40s across the area. But then we get that next uh, flow of moisture off of the North Pacific, a big area of low pressure, just feeding more moisture our way. This one, a uh, lot of moisture to work with out of this system. Now, ahead of this storm, we've got warmer air. Well, we've got colder air at the surface. So what's going to happen is that warm, moist air is lighter than the cold, dense air. So it's going to overrun it. And what happens when that warm air overruns the cold air is we have the potential for some freezing rain and sleet this weekend. So Saturday afternoon and evening, as that system moves through, especially through north central and central Montana, there is a strong possibility of freezing rain and sleet out of this system. Keep that in mind, all right, folks, because freezing rain is nothing to mess around with. As that system tracks to the north and east, here's why that advisory is in place for the north uh, eastern corner of Montana. As that system tracks north and east, it's going to transition over to snow, likely uh, producing about two to four inches of accumulation up into the northeastern corner. I don't really anticipate much in the way of accumulation through central Montana for the simple fact that it's just warm enough that it's going to it's going to melt as soon as it hits the ground, but uh, we do again have the possibility of freezing rain. So just keep that in mind. Uh, system pretty much moves out of the area then by Monday. All right, lows tonight, still a chilly one, single digits across the high line. Uh, teens throughout the northeastern corner, 16 in Great Falls tonight, 23 here in Helena. Tomorrow starting out pretty mild, 47 in Helena. A few mid 30s throughout central Montana, low 30s and mid 20s along the high line, only hitting 25 in Cut Bank. 31 in Haver for your Saturday. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your Friday afternoon, and we'll see you at 5 30 and 10 o'clock. I'll have more on these systems and uh, what you can expect over the next few hours.